The good news is it's really easy to extend a visa in Boracay. That took like 10 minutes and costs 100 and $125 to get an extra uh, 29 days. Today, we've got some really good news. We have decided we want to stay longer in the Philippines, so we're extending our visas. So we're going to immigration now. Um, I have no idea what the process is. Luckily, Danger knows what's up. <laughs> I've done some reading. It's funny to think that we've been traveling for so long and this is our first actual official extension of a visa. We've applied for visas before, obviously, to get into countries, but it's our first extension. But one thing that we've been told about is we need to wear like appropriate clothing. So, AKA hot clothing. Hot clothing. <laughs> We're probably a bit lucky that it's a little overcast today, but we've got pants, shoes, a dress. <laughs> Oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> a dressy t-shirt on as well, but we're gonna jump on the bike. I've been given two different locations that this place might be. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't tell Stacey. Luck. <laughs> so we're gonna go and see how this whole process goes down. So like we said, the good news is that we've decided we're gonna spend longer in the Philippines, which is amazing because we've got some really cool things coming up in some like beautiful islands that we really wanna share with you guys and we wanna see for ourselves. The bad news is... <laughs> we chose the worst day to come here. It's closed today for a holiday that we don't, we don't know, we, we, know, should we should've looked it up. We don't know what that is. Literally the day we chose to come is closed. On the way down here we are thinking it's so good because it wasn't super sunny or the weather wasn't like overwhelmingly hot. It's raining. Now it's raining. But at least we know where to come next time. Yeah. Tomorrow. It was a bit of, bit of a mission trying to find exactly where to come now. So we will come up with a plan and we will do something to keep this day going on a positive note. We try and keep things pretty positive on this vlog, but honestly, when you travel, sometimes things just don't go to plan. We're, we've been gone for a couple of hours now, but we're back. We just left the scooter here because we're badasses. But mm -hmm. <laughs> by the time we got down to the beachfront, the sun came out, which was even worse by that point because then we're wearing like shoes and socks. So we thought we'd get some air conditioning, we'll grab a coffee. So we went back into Sunnyside, which we've shown you guys before, so we didn't really film much there. Um, Speaking of shoes and socks, just as we walk in, somebody moves the table and literally an entire glass of water went down into my shoe and wet my socks. Then the coffee that we got <laughs> was like warm, like it might as well have been room temperature. Had and a bit of a bad run. Bit of a bad run. Luckily we had our laptops with us, which is positive because we thought maybe we'd be some downtime here and we could plan out where we're going to next. And then the internet was like non-existent. <laughs> We managed to do some planning though, so hopefully by now you can see why we want to stay in the Philippines. Not because of that two hour segment, but because of the footage we've shown you guys from like how beautiful this place is and just how amazing the people and the culture is. But after that, because we travel full time, we need to figure out where we're going to go. And honestly at this point, we're not sure. We have no idea. We'll update you when we know what we're doing. So welcome to day two of may we please stay in the Philippines longer. The good news is it's really easy to extend a visa in Boracay. That took like 10 minutes and costs $125 to get an extra uh, 29 days. So it's an easy spot, station three. They were open today, made life much easier. <laughs> we just had something really funny happen. We were driving up a hill on the way back from getting the visas, actually before we talk more about the details of that. Um, and the scooter just stopped, just in the middle of the street, just completely stopped on a hill with traffic behind us. And we ran out of gas. Fortunately we had somewhere close by that we could jump off and I went and grabbed some gas. But the downside was that I, um, I didn't have this camera, it was all tucked away, but I did take an Instagram story, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll insert that here so you can at least see just what we were going through. Bit of a mess up today. We've just run out of gas on the hill. 
I just had to walk for about 10 minutes to try and find somewhere that I could get some gas. Here we are here, just stuck on a little hill. Welcome to the Philippines. We're just on our way to the swimming pool. Gonna have a little bit of a quick dip before we uh, shower up and everything for the day. Um, the thing that's blown us away about that visa extension was one, the fact that it only took 10 minutes, two, oh, pool clothes for maintenance. filled out barely any paperwork either. Most times that you apply for a visa or the visa extensions that we know about that we fortunately never had to go through, like and it's an extensive list, you need loads of like um, photocopies and proofs of travel and all. We needed nothing then. We literally filled out what was like the equivalent of like an arrival card. Well, there's a lot of maintenance going on behind me. I can't swim, but what I can do is fly the drone. So I figure let's do that anyway. Get some cool shots while we're here. on a little bit of a change of scenery. We've spent lots of nights on this beach already having like sunset drinks and getting food. So we thought we'd mix it up and we'd go back to the place that we went to which is Dinnywood Beach I think it's called which is where Spider House is where we had uh, went for sunset that night but there's a really cool spot there. It's a really small beach a little bit like quieter but still beanbags like a good vibe. So we're gonna go and scope that out for some food for dinner. Just starts. So we're at Dinnywood Beach now. If you know us by now, if you watch any of our other videos, you know that we sometimes get distracted. By beer. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? <laughs> we're just watching the uh, sunset. It's a really small beach long here. I'll go for a little walk and I'll show you what it's like. But we just grabbed a couple of beers and we're just going to sit down, take it easy, and then try and find somewhere to get some dinner. If you walk out on this point along here, this is where we went the other day to Spider House out there for sunset, which is probably a better one by the looks of it because the colours aren't popping through as much tonight because of the clouds, I think. We're in a really awkward spot here now where you probably can't see on camera, but it's dripping. It's getting it's spitting. Worse. You can probably see it on my glasses. The music stop is because they put the DJ deck like away. Oh, it's really heading now. Everybody's getting up. I think we're going to have to do a runner. It's so cute. Well, that was a typical like tropical little, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Like a quick downpour. Quick downpour. Um, Stace has had her fun playing with the dogs. I think the DJ is just setting up back behind us. We found ourselves a new little spot and luckily we managed to get an even better sunset now. Somehow during that like maybe 30 minutes, clouds have like moved and now the sun's coming through even better. Yeah, music's back, which is awesome. And luckily I had this camera with me as well, the smaller one. Which the audio isn't as good as I know, but if it does start to rain, it, we've put the other one away to keep it protected. The reason we came to this beach though is because there's a place down here called, I do this every time, I need to remember the name, Mama's, Mama's Fish House. And we're going to have some grilled fish down here on the beach front. So just finished up now, it's about 7 o'clock and this is our spot, we think this is the spot. Anyway, Mama's Fish, here it is, Mama's Fish House, sorry, god damn. <laughs> We just got the first of our meals. This is the chicken capitan. It's bits of chicken, some beans, some carrots and potatoes. It smells really good. Does it? Can you smell it? Yeah, it smells great. So this is the little spot here. I'm using my phone, <laughs> secretly using my phone so we can light it up. Because it's quite dark, but this is just such a great little spot. Just chilling on the beach here. 
This is the view. There's only, a, oh, there's a couple of people right there, typical as I turn around, but there's barely anybody around. Feet in the sand, and we've also got a, what else is coming? Grilled snapper with salad and rice, I think. Yes. So we got the uh, whole snapper here, which is, I think, 490 pesos, is that right? Yeah, like that. I think so. And it comes with the salad and the rice? Yeah, salad and rice. Got my friend Barry down here as well. Who's, gonna... who's Barry? You can't see him. Oh, you can't see Barry? Down here. Oh, hi, mate. Hi, Barry. He wants a couple of mouthfuls. So I think we're just going to sit here and just turn the camera off and just enjoy having some time together and just chilling out on this beautiful beach here. Um, so stoked that we can stay in the Philippines for longer and we've got so much more awesome stuff that I just can't, I can't wait to share and I can't wait to see more of it. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching and we will catch you in the comments. Bye! Bye!